in the springtime, um, mid April, May into the beginning of June, uh, we come and we do what's called suckering in the vineyard. The other term for it would be shoot thinning. So what we do is we come in and have the vine, um, the vine has grown and it's uh, a lot of dormant buds along the trunk, along the cordon have pushed so we come through and we take them off. Um, we refocus the vine's energy into what we left as far as pruning, which we want two shoots per spur. So what we're trying to create in the vine is we're trying to create windows in the plant um, along the cordon. Uh, the windows, the, the air, it will allow air movement through the vine, better air flow, um, which will aid in disease prevention. And the other benefit to doing this practice of thinning out the shoots is um, that we get filtered light that is able to hit the clusters and allow for better color development in the reds. With shoot thinning, you, know, you spend a lot of time per plant and when uh, we need to hire a few more people to help us out. We hire about eight people. Uh, additionally, they come every year and they help us out this time of year. Um, and it takes the better part of two months to get through all of our estate vineyards uh, just due to the, to the number of minutes we have to spend with each plant taking these shoots off. This year has been a special year as far as shoot thinning. We've had a great number of rainfall occurrences. Not necessarily a lot of rain, but we've had frequent occurrences of rain where we've had a half an inch or a third of an inch. So this year in particular, we've had to come through in many of the blocks and do this twice. So the, the first time we come through, uh, we come through fairly early and then we we take off what's growing in places that it shouldn't be growing along the cordon and along the trunk. Um, in many blocks though we've actually had to go in again and do it again because we will have had um, additional buds push. It's been warm, we've had ample soil moisture, ample rainfall, and in years like that uh, shoot thinning or suckering becomes quite challenging. When we start with pruning and we determine at that point in time what we think that vine's capacity is. That plant can carry so many clusters. Those clusters are carried on shoots. When you come back in the springtime after the vine's woken up and broken its dormancy and the vine thinks it wants to grow, you know, 30%, 40% more shoots than, than we believe it's capable of handling, um, we have to come through and we have to take those off. So again, we're refocusing the vine's energy solely on what we left for pruning, those little spurs and the two shoots that we expect to come out of those spurs.